Welcome all, this is Saud. This is Intercom system. Stopped displaying videos and showing blank screen. The video signal is available and coming normal from the outside camera. As it is clear. This indicating that the display unit is defective and to be checked. I will use this mini satellite receiver to get testing video signal and I will connect these signals to the video input of the intercom main board. So as it is clear the composite video uh, signal is available. and it is reaching to the video decoder IC input pin but still no video display available at screen The digital 8-bit output video information is not active. So, this IC currently is not functioning. And after I have done the basic troubleshooting on this IC, it indicates that this IC is getting two different power supplies. One is 1.8 volt from this regulator and the other is 3.3 volt from this regulator when i check the 1.8 volt it is very normal but the 3.3 volt regulator is in fact giving 4.9 volt output the input supply to this regulator is 5 volts So, in fact, the input supply is just passing to the output without any regulation. I will try to replace this defective regulator and check if the video decoder IC is still working. I have got with me here 3.3 volt regulator IC, but this is bigger size. I will try to connect and accommodate on the board. I will remove the faulty regulator so I have soldered and connected the replacement regulator in place and as we can see it is providing the right output voltage now But after replacing the regulator, the display not showing any video. And the video decoder IC is not functioning. No any digital data out. So the decoder IC was damaged by the excessive voltage supply and need to be replaced. And in fact, I'll replace both two ICs because they are getting supply from the same regulator and most probably the second one can be defective. I have ordered online new decoder ICs. I got total five pieces per order. So I'll start and replace both ICs.
I have replaced the ICs but still no video is displayed and also no digital video data output from the IC. Let me explain something on what's going on here before we continue. So as it was clear we are getting the signal normal from block A to block B where we are now. The signal is not moving from block B to block C where we have the panel control and image processing for display. And I know in general that the CPU is active as at least I can go through the menu of configuration settings normal. But it is clear also that the video decoder IC not giving the right output. Therefore, if nothing coming from block B, then we shouldn't expect anything from block C. What I can see here, the video decoder IC is getting all the required inputs in order to generate the expected outputs, regardless what's going on somewhere else on the board. For this IC to work, it needs the right power, ground, clock signal, and video input signal to be available, plus of course some other control signals like reset, shutdown, and I to C serial signal to be healthy in order for this IC to give the right output of digital video information and vertical plus horizontal synchronization signals. So as we can see from this, the 1.8 volt is okay. Three point three volt also fine. I have checked the ground connections are good. The clock signal is okay and available when we request for video display. Reset input is not activated. This is active low signal and now it is at high state so it is healthy. This is a shutdown input. It is not activated currently at low state. This is the healthy state as per data sheet. The analog video input is available to IC input and healthy and this is a main requirement. And I have tried both PAL and NTSC uh, video standard. Also, the serial I2C signal from the main CPU are available and reaching to the decoder IC for the basic video configuration parameters. Both data and clock signals looks normal. Not only that, I was able to decode the I2C serial message as clear. But these signals is addressing other ICs connected to same bus and we don't have information what address is used for the decoder IC. I have checked the pins connection continuity to the PCB for all pins are okay. So if we talk about the possibilities now is it possible the new IC is not working? Maybe. In fact, all what I received ICs are with same manufacturing date. Otherwise, 
it could be valid idea to retry IC with different manufacturing date just in case. Uh, is it possible the I square C data even though it is flowing normal from the CPU but maybe due to some error the data become not compatible or the decoder IC is not addressed anymore and that causing the issue. I know this possibility practically not very likely to happen. Uh, plus also we don't have direct control on what CPU trying to read or write. Is the absence of these parameters should stop the IC from working? However, no enough details on expected data content. Then is it possible that the digital data lines are pulled to ground by some malfunction at CPU side so not able to swing high and low? Anyhow, I'll stop here now. I was glad just to share with you all this diagnosis, regardless of the final results. I like to explore things in this way to learn some more. That's all and thanks for watching.